Hey guys, welcome to TCT and the Crazy Troll Nation of YouTube. The crazy just because I am sometimes, I don't mean to be, I'm just like a little off and a little bit weird. An example would be I always wait or usually wait till I start the video to put on chapstick. <laughs> I just woke up like 10 minutes ago, so I'm still like half asleep. And I just remembered when I sat here in front of the camera that I forgot to even brush my hair. But the good thing with short haircuts like this is that you cannot really tell. <laughs> The, tr the troll, because I consider myself a troll with no face paint, but a cute troll nonetheless. And so thank you for being here. What I'm, what I'm going to do really fast is just show you how I do my eyebrows. Um, and I only have one thing to point with except the pen. If you, for anybody, if you look straight at your face, your face is not symmetrical. Very few people, their face is completely symmetrical, like a mirror image on both sides. And so for me, I'm looking in the mirror down here. I have a double chin, but it's only like right here, which is just freaking weird that it doesn't come all the way over. Um, when I grin hard or when I cry, this part of my lip <laughs> comes this way. This side doesn't come down. I was, when I was born, I was almost too big to come out. I was 10 pounds, 10 and a half ounces. And my mom had told me they should have did a C-section. And she said that I tore her, maybe a little TMI. Um, half of my face was paralyzed um, because I was so big coming out. And I don't know what side it was, but I think that might be why. Like the lip thing and maybe only one side here is hanging. I don't know. But anyway, that is a true story, by the way. Um, excuse me, my eyes are still tearing. As I said, I just woke up. Um, if you look at my eyes... This one is more up. This side is more droopy. And I just noticed in a video like two months ago that like even my nose, this side kind of comes this way and this side is more full. <laughs> and my hairline is crooked. Um, yeah, this side comes here and then it goes up and then it comes back down. And this side I have double bags. I just have one on this side. This side I have matching luggage. I've had bags since I was like in my mid-20s. <laughs> so anyway, I'm trying to figure out what else. Oh, and my eyebrows. Because this is, and I'm saying all that to get so why my brows, why I do my brows the way I do. This brow, and I haven't brushed them over. When I do wash my face and then I dry my face, when I dry it, I do take um, the towel I dry my face with, with and do this. And so they're kind of trained to just go that way. I might have one that might just be, you know, hey, over here pointing or something. But this brow has a natural arch right here. This brow has an arch and comes this way. This brow is completely rounded. And so when I would just fill in my natural brows, this would be an arch and come this way. And this one would come down this way. <laughs> And so I overplucked on purpose, and this was maybe like, maybe four years ago, I want to say. And I plucked just a little past where the arch is on this side. And I did that on purpose. I overplucked them both to about right here, so that at least I can try to get the tail to be the same and not have one come this way and one come this way. So that's why I overplucked on purpose. And so when it's time to groom my brows, I take a little brush. Any little brush will do. You can even use a toothbrush. Excuse me, my eyes are tearing. Um, this came with a razor I purchased. And so what I so I have a little brush and a pair of scissors. These are cuticle scissors, but I don't use them for my cuticles. And so I'm gonna use the mirror down here, and I'm you may or may not be able to see. I do this maybe once every two months and so I brush the hairs down and yeah, you can see a little bit so that's good so I brush them down a little bit as much as possible and then I take oh this one came out good and then I take the scissors and I like that these are curved and I just cut off the excess I cut off whatever's hanging down a friend of mine the other day, when I was at the AquaFit class, which is um, a water-based um, aerobics workout class, she thought I had my brow stenciled on, and I'm just like, no. And then I'll take a, um, a washcloth, 
just to help me not get hair in my eyes. I didn't put my contacts in yet so that I'd be able to see in this mirror. And then I will brush my brows upward. And even the sides, I'll brush them upward also. And I will see what brows are longer than I want them to be. So you see how this here, those are coming up. And there are a few more, but I know you can't see them. So I see one over here that's kind of um, doing a swish thing. So I cut that. I can't even see it. Am I still in frame? Okay, this one I'm missing. It looks like I'm cutting it, but I'm not. Okay, there it goes. And then I just come across... And because it's moving my skin, it moves my brows. And so sometimes I may miss a brow, a brow hair that I'm trying to cut. And so I'm taking this and I'm brushing them upward because I want to see what's left that I may need to cut. And as you can probably see, there are a few like right around here. That are still too long. And so I go in and just cut those. And so maybe every two months I do this. Maybe. I'm not even sure because I never really timed it. Because what I do is, is when I do my brows, if I'm noticing... Um, I'll show you what I'm talking about. Let me just do this. And then I'll I'll show you instead of trying to explain it because I have a feeling it's going to sound strange. I hope I'm in frame. And so then I brush them over to their respective sides. I look in the mirror. There's one hair here that's standing up straight. So I'm going to go back in this way. And there's only like one that's right here. Brush them back out, brush them back down. There's a few that's coming down on this side. There's a few coming down on this side. Okay, so that's all I'm going to cut. So I'm going to come back out, go back down. And everything is lining up. There's a couple here that's not. I'm going to just leave it for now because I don't want this video to be too long. So I brush them back out and then I brush back up. Everything seems to be okay. When when I decide to do um, my brows, true story, funny story, How, and I'm using my Fenty brow pencil. When I, when I see people brushing their brows up this way, I've been doing that for like five years. And so now that I see people doing that, I'm just like, that is not anything new. <laughs> but when I do my brows, I brush them over and then I brush them upward. When, and then I come down with the brush to get it even. When I realize I'm spending a few seconds to get them even, that's because there's, some of the hairs have grown longer. I get to a point where I'm like, okay, I need to just trim my brows. And I do what I just did. So, this is how my brows naturally look. And then I will brush them over. Brush them. Brushed. Brush them over. And this is where the... Oh, shoot. I made that too hard. Too heavy-handed. This is where the arch is on this side. And so, I'll start there. And try to bring it straight outward. And then looking at that, I'll try to find where it would be an arch on this side. And then I try to do the same motion, which is difficult because this way, just the angle of my arm. And so my brows are never even, but that's my goal is that they at least look even. And so this is what we're working with today. And 
and then I go in and start from uh, maybe like midway and just go over toward the arch and I go back and forth instead of doing like the whole brow and then the other because it's really hard for me to get it get them even if I do it, do it that way and then I'll just lightly fill this part in I, every time I do my brows, I get compliments on my brows. And I am 50, and I've been doing my brows this way for about five years. Three years, four years, five years. What number did I say earlier? I don't remember. And even when I don't do my brows, I get compliments on my brows. Like how they look before I started in with the pencil. So now that we have the pencil on, I'll go in and I'll brush over. And then I'll brush up. And pat the top, pat the top, pat the top even if there's any long, long hairs. And I just try to get it even as, as possible, as even as possible. I apologize if this video was boring. I do feel like I was talking kind of slow. One reason is trying to do makeup and the other reason is still being half asleep. <laughs> <laughs> but that's it for this video. That's how I do my brows. Nice and simple. I like brows to look natural. The stencil thing and the concealer and all that, it looks really great. I'm just an average person, and I, I always did like the natural look. I like a bold eye. I like a bold lip. I don't like my foundation to show. I don't like um, the blush to be like too out there. I don't like, you know, obvious contour and obvious highlight. And... I like my brows to look natural as well. The only thing I want them to see is shadow if I'm wearing it and lipstick and maybe a hint of blush. And so this is it. So tell me what you think. How do you do your brows? Do you think you'll try trimming your brows the way I do? Brush them up and trim off the excess. And I know microblading is a thing now. So if you guys are into that, that's great. I'm not saying it's, it's wrong. I'm not saying it's bad. I'm just saying for me, I like a natural look and this to me is natural. And so... Thank you for watching and thank you for enduring the trollness. I'll be back later with other videos. I'm not going to babble because this is like 13 minutes almost. So I'll see you guys. You'll see me in the next video. Thanks. Bye.